डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन दीज नोट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड योर नोट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लैक्चर विल डिस्कस फीमेल यूरिनो जेनाइटल सिस्टम ऑफ पीजन नोट डाउन डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लैक्चर वी विल क्लियर फीमेल यूरिनो जेनाइटल सिस्टम ऑफ पीजन नोट डाउन इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर We have studied male urinogenital system of pigeon. In that system, we have discussed excretory, urinary, and male reproductive systems. And in today's lecture, we will clear excretory system as well as female reproductive system. In case of female urinogenital system, the excretory system which is similar to that of male urinogenital system. we have already discussed in case of excretory system that consists of a pair of large elongated kidneys and each kidney having three lobes anterior lobe middle lobe and posterior lobe dear students in case of pigeon in case of birds the kidneys are elongated and here each kidney having three lobes anterior middle and posterior and from each kidney one fine duct arises this one is ureter and that ureter conducts highly concentrated means hypertonic because the birds these are terrestrial forms in order to conserve the body water these birds these animals remove hypertonic urine that is these animals are uricotalic in their excreta uric acid solid crystals of uric acid are present and these ureters which open here in the urodium of colloca in today's lecture we also clear the female reproductive system of pigeon and that female reproductive system consists of single ovary not down in case of pigeon in case of adult birds both ovaries and both ovaries are present during embryonic stages but at the time of development the right ovary the right ovary that gets degenerated it means in case of birds in case of pigeon it is a characteristic feature of flight adaptation only the left ovary it is functional in adults dear students during embryo stages both ovaries are present but during development the right ovary gets degenerated here note down in case of pigeon this right oviduct in adults it becomes greatly reduced it acts as a non functional a vestigial organ this greatly reduced right oviduct is present this is all due to flight adaptation in order to reduce the body weight the left ovary is well developed and it is functional this left ovary it consists of large number of graphian follicles of different sizes a mature follicle having a well developed secondary oocyte which is megalocytal polylacetal having heavy amount of yolk this is a structure of secondary oocyte and this secondary oocyte which consists of a single membrane this one is vital line or it is fertilization membrane and very small active cytoplasm that lies in small disc this is germinal disc this is blasto disc and this disc consists of germinal vesicle or nucleus it means embryo development occurs only in this region while well, this maximum part of secondary oocyte filled with heavy amount of yolk this secondary oocyte is released from the ovary through a particular site and that site is stigma or cicatrix not down in case of pigeon in case of birds only the left ovary is functional and not down this left ovary having large number of follicles a mature follicle 
that releases a secondary oocyte and this secondary oocyte is received by this second part of female reproductive system that is oviduct and in case of birds pigeon only left oviduct is present this right oviduct that is greatly reduced it means this left oviduct it is functional and this left oviduct that acts as a mullerian duct not down competition exam students this oviduct having one two three four five parts this large expanded funnel shaped structure uppermost part of this oviduct it is oviducal funnel or infundibulum not down it is also named fallopian funnel this is large expanded funnel shaped structure which lies in upper region and it remains in contact of the ovary here this funnel having a large median aperture and that aperture is ostium through this aperture this funnel oviducal funnel or infundibulum that receives this secondary oocyte the next part is this is upper glandular part of left oviduct not on competition exam student this is magnum first part is funnel that is in fundibulum that receives secondary oocyte a ovum and this next part it is magnum this upper glandular part of left oviduct magnum that secretes not down this part secretes this albumin and this middle glandular part of left oviduct it is isthmus and this isthmus it secretes one two two shell membranes now down here in the egg of pigeon these are tertiary membranes albumin and these one two these are shell membranes this albumin it is produced by this magnum and this middle glandular part which is isthmus that secretes one two shell membranes and this outermost outermost calcareous shell is produced by this hind part hind glandular part of lap oviduct that is uterus it means in case of pigeon the left oviduct its upper magnum part that secretes this albumin tertiary membrane and this middle glandular part that is which is isthmus that secretes one two shell membranes while this hind part that is uterus that secretes this outermost calcareous shell and this last terminal part of left oviduct which is fine glandular muscular that is vagina it secretes mus mucus that lubricates the egg for easy laying and this ureter as well as this vagina open here in the cloaca and the region in which these ducts open that part is urodia this is all about female urinogenital system of peach dear students in case of pigeon only left ovary is functional left oviduct is functional during embryo stages both ovaries are present but during development right ovary disappears right ovary degenerates while this right oviduct that is greatly reduced that becomes non functional that acts as a vestigial organ and this left ovary this left ovary it remains in the upper region of this kidney and it gets attested by a double membranous peritoneal fold that fold is mesoverium while in case of testes the testes remains attested by a double membranous fold that is mesorchium not down and this oviduct this oviduct it gets attested by the body wall by a double peritoneal membranous fold and that is mesotubarium this is all about 
female urinogenital system not only in next lecture i will discuss circulatory system of patient